hi besties welcome back to my channel and today's video i'm going to be sharing my screen and be showing you guys how to use ChatGPT the right way as a virtual assistant and guys if your ChatGPT hasn't helped you land jobs it's because you have been using it the wrong way and today i'm going to show you exactly how i train my ChatGPT to work for me as a virtual assistant and how you can actually do the same because i've used ChatGPT to write proposals that get replies cover letters that stand out and even use ChatGPT to handle my client's tasks. And many of you have been asking me, Homo oh, me, how do you use your ChatGPT? Can I train mine to work like yours? Yes, darling, you can actually train it. And I'm actually going to show you step by step. I'll be sharing my screen and walking you through the real prompts that I use and how I have customized it to understand my voice and my workflow. And guys, some people are actually telling me that I should stop teaching you guys things for free here. Like they are jealous of us. They are jealous of our love. And you know, I actually love you. So guys, I need a quick favor before you can actually dive in. Yes. See, if you see, whenever you click on my video and you see an ad pop up while watching, please don't skip them. Just watch it to the very end because that's one small way you can actually support this channel and keep me motivated to keep showing up for you. Remember I told you guys like I got monetized and you know, watching, if people watch the ad showing on my videos, you know, YouTube will actually give me like 50 cents, one dollar here and there, and it will actually, you know, keep me motivated as well. So, guys, without wasting much of our time, let's dive right into how to use ChatGPT the right way as a virtual assistant. And if you find this up for, do not forget to do what to subscribe, to comment, and share your thoughts, and also share with your virtual assistant friend as well. Let's dive right into it. So, guys, I want you to head over to ChatGPT.com. I'm actually using a new account just to show you how this is being done. And if you have um, an existing account, you just need to just follow this step as well. So it doesn't matter if you just create your own or you have an existing one. So the first step we're actually going to do is to come to this circle, this place, and click on Customize ChatGPT. Now, what should ChatGPT call you? Tell ChatGPT your full name. So for the sake of this class, I can say, my name is Sarah James. What do you do? Then you can tell ChatGPT like I'm a virtual assistant and I'm aspiring to work with international clients. What traits should ChatGPT have? Now you can come here to say chatty, be talkative and conversational, but I won't actually choose that, so we're actually going to delete it. I can say straight shooting, encouraging, you know, forward thinking, traditional. You can take your time and actually read this through. Tell it like it is. Don't sugarcoat responses. Use an encouraging tone. Take a forward thinking view. Have a traditional outlook. Value in the past and how things has always been done. Now, anything else ChatGPT should know about you, this is where you need to be very, very careful. And I'm going to tell you what to tell ChatGPT here. I want you to actually use this. So I'm saying, my name is Sarah. From now on, you are my personal assistant. I'm a virtual assistant who helps international clients, customer service, email management, executive support, travel planning. If you're a social media manager, very graphic designer, just use this to actually suit your thing you get. So. Your job as a as ChatGPT is to help me write cover letters, respond to job posts, create upward proposal, and organize my task. Respond in simple human English and sound like me. Always keep things short, straight, and clear. Do you understand? And here is how I want you to sound natural, human, no big grammar, no robotic languages. Talk like someone who is friendly but confident. Keep it short and clear. Don't use emojis or flub. Always go straight to the point. If I say write a cover letter or proposal, I want you to do it in this tone. And which tone are we talking about? To use the natural human, no big grammar and no robotic language tone. And then you're going to do what you're going to save this. Now, the next step I want you to do is to actually come to this ChatGPT itself and tell ChatGPT, hello, I would like to introduce myself to you. Let's see what ChatGPT is going to say. Can you see? Hi, Sarah. Nice to meet you. I'm ready whenever you are. Tell me a bit about yourself and what you need help with today. Why did ChatGPT know that I'm Sarah? I'm Sarah because I've already customized this ChatGPT like, yes, I'm Sarah. So now I'm going to be telling ChatGPT what I actually told it in the customized section. So the first thing we're actually going to do is I'm actually going to paste this again and I'm saying I'm a virtual assistant and I'm aspiring to work with international clients to handle their email management, calendar scheduling and admin support. I use tools like Google Workspace, Notion, Slack, Trello. Keep this in mind whenever you write anything for me. I can actually add another one. If you have any other tools that you know how to use, everything, just ensure that you actually post this here and I'm going to send it to ChatGPT. While we actually 
do that. Let's see what ChatGPT will have to do. Then I'm going to copy the responses that I actually gave to ChatGPT the other time when I was trying to introduce. Can you see? He said, "Got it. I'll keep that in mind whenever I write anything for you. Let's get you set up to attract the right client. Just let me know what you need next. Cover letter proposal, LinkedIn update, or anything. But well, I'm still going to come here again, and I'm going to do what to post this. My name is Sarah. From now on, you're my personal assistant. I'm a virtual assistant with international client customer support, email management, blah blah blah. Just put this again. Like this is me double showing that yes, ChatGPT really know who I am and what I do. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So now I'm going to create another one. Let's go to new chat. Then I'm going to tell ChatGPT. I'm going to ask ChatGPT like, do you know who I am? So let's see what ChatGPT will actually give us. Can you see, sure, based on what you've shared, you are Sarah James, a virtual assistant aiming to land and support international clients with tasks like email, calendar, and general admin work. You like your communication short, clear, human. So how can I help you today? So the first thing I'm going to be using my ChatGPT to do today is to actually apply to jobs. And let me show you how we're going to do this. One thing I'm going to be doing now is that I'm going to be telling ChatGPT to apply to this job for me. See, this job is saying we are seeking a highly organized and proactive executive assistant to support our CEOs and streamline business operations. The ideal candidate will manage schedules, coordinate meetings, and do correspondence and assist in various administrative tasks to ensure efficiency, attention to details, confidentiality, and strong communication skills are essential. If you are motivated individuals who thrive in a dynamic environment, we would love to hear from you. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to copy this um, job post. That's the first thing I'm actually going to do now. And I'm going to come back to ChatGPT. Let's create a new chat. I'm just going to create a new chat. And I'm going to tell ChatGPT, like, act like an Upwork expert and apply to this job. I want the first paragraph to talk about how I can solve the problem and also ask questions that will um how am i going to put this that will actually spark a conversation between myself and the client so i'm going to paste the job description and i'm going to paste enter let's see what ChatGPT will look for Can you see? Hi, sound like your CEO needs a right-hand person who keeps team moving without missing a beat. I can help you take admin and scheduling of the updates so they can focus on big picture goal. I'm used to managing calendar, coordinating meetings across, um, across time zone, and keeping communication tight and scheduled. Quick question, what tools are you currently using to manage scheduling and correspondence? Also, are there any specific recurring tasks or workflow you would like to improve or automate? Can you see the question? I've supported busy executives before, handling everything from inbox zero to last minute schedule, schedule, and keeping sensitive info safe. I'm comfortable working independently, staying ahead of deadlines, and keeping things simple and efficient. Let's talk about how I can bring calm and order to your fast moving day. Can you see how amazing this is? Now, how do you, like, what are the common mistakes that virtual assistant makes whenever they are using ChatGPT? You see, some of it, do you know what you do? They will just copy things like this. I'm going to tell you the mistake you used to make. With. You just copy things like this. Let me create a, a new document and show you guys what we're going to do. So now I'm actually going to paste this here. Some of you, you just copy the um, the word, like word for word. And even your clients can see all these things. Sure, here is a straight and a strong and straight up for proposal to lot of this job. I've seen so many people applying to jobs like this. And guys, if you are the type, trust me, you cannot get this job. How can you use ChatGPT the right way when ChatGPT already draft all this thing for you? That is the first thing I want you to tell ChatGPT that we're actually going to be telling ChatGPT right now. One moment. Is that I'm going to tell ChatGPT, do not abbreviate anything. That's the first thing I want to tell ChatGPT. I don't want you to abbreviate any words for me. I want you to ensure that everything is in order. Now, can you see, ChatGPT actually generated another thing for me. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT that I want the first one. 
I don't just want any abbreviation. You talk to ChatGPT as if ChatGPT is your assistant. Like, control it, command it. Ah, guys, I just hope you are understanding what I'm showing you. Can you see? Hi, you sound like your executive, chief executive officer needs a right hand person who keep things moving without missing a beat. I can help you take administrative and schedule tasks off their plate. So, can you see? There is no abbreviation again. So, what you actually want to do now is to be very, very careful and just do what? And just copy this. Just copy this. Best regards, Sarah James, and just paste it in the proposal. Just ensure you double check, ensure that everything is there and what you're sending is actually okay. And if you're actually the type that, let me just pull this up again. If you are the type that whenever you are sending any ChatGPT messages, all this um, I think is actually there, you want to do what you want to remove it and put comma where necessary and put stop where necessary. If you are still writing anything, any essay or any content or even any upper proposal and this dash of a thing is there guys it's obvious that it is ChatGPT. just ensure that you remove it you put comma where necessary and you put post up where necessary so you need to see ChatGPT as your assistant as that your junior baby that you want to tell what you need to do don't let ChatGPT tell you what you should do tell ChatGPT what you need it to do Am I communicating, guys? So, guys, that is how I train my ChatGPT to think like me, write like me, and help me succeed as a virtual assistant. ChatGPT is not magic. It's about giving the right instruction, building the right contents, and using the tools the smart way. So, guys, it is your turn now. I actually want you to go to train your ChatGPT, build your assistant, and stop doing everything alone. Trust me, you don't want to do everything alone. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to do one. To subscribe, to like, to comment, and subscribe below. And guys, I'll see you in my next video.